I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Theory Tuition series where I work with you step by step through each of the ABRSM theory grades. I've completed up grade one and now we're working through grade two. So you need to have your music theory workbook available and you also need to have the PDF sheets that I've made available to you on my website. I'll be referring to these often times. So if you go to SharonBill.com you'll find some free PDF information sheets with all the information that you need to know to work through this series. They're available in US letter or A4 and will accompany each step of this series. There's also a page with links to all of my YouTube video tutorials and you can also access information about the books I have available particularly if you're working up to your ABRSM exam. I've written a book how to take your ABRSM music theory exam and it's a guide with lots of hints and tips and techniques for how to best prepare for your exam and also how to make the best use of your time when you're actually sitting the exam paper. So do go to SharonBill.com there's lots there to help you. If you can give me a like, that'd be really encouraging. Subscribe to the channel to keep updated. I absolutely love doing music theory and I'm really enjoying this series and I hope that you're enjoying working through it too. I hope it's helpful to you, so let's crack on. And we're continuing with section C, part two, which is discussing major scales. So if you turn in your workbook now to page 11, we'll carry on with this series. And so this is section C in your PDF information sheets. And we're looking at major key signatures. In addition to the key signatures covered in grade one, you still need to know these. There's also three new key signatures. And so we're working up to three sharps and three flats now in this grade. So there's no new information, we're just applying it in different ways as each question asks us in this workbook. So let's look at exercise three. It asks us to add the clef, so there's part one of the question, and then part two is to add the key signature needed to make each of these major scales correct. So we need to add a clef and a key signature, it's simple enough really. You need to have a, a sharp pencil to hand, especially in writing these key signatures. There's not a great deal of room here. And so if your pencil's blunt, you're going to be running out of space as well as it being untidy. So if I work through this first one with you, just so you feel sure how to go about this. Now, first of all, adding the clef. E flat major, of course, must begin on the note E flat. The key signature will deal with the flat part of the equation. So we just need to make sure that this is E here. And so if we wrote this in the treble clef, that would be incorrect because it would begin on E and that, that would begin on C rather. And that would be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And that would be incorrect. E flat major needs to begin and end and work through in step up to E. And so this is base clef. Remember, we're now using ledger lines quite freely in this grade. We know that it's good boys deserve football. So G, one lower is F, one lower again is E. Now, if you find it difficult working from this end of the scale, just move to this part. You know it's got to end on E as well. And all cows eat is the base clef spaces. And so it must be base clef. Remember, it begins on this second line down and the two dots are placed either side. Now E flat major, if we just refer, you can either refer in your PDF sheet or it's actually over the page at the bottom of page 10. You've got a quick glance at your key signatures there, although it doesn't tell you which one's which. So let's just stick to the PDF sheet. E flat major has B flats, E flats and A flats. And you'll notice that the position's in that particular diamond shape. So let's look at drawing that now. So B flat is always first, it's always in this order. So good boys, it's like a little B sign with a pointy base. B flats, E flats is all cows eat. And that's the note that you've just finished on here. And then A flats, all cows, so A is the bottom space. And there we are, that's the question completed. It's as simple as that. So go ahead, press pause, and then try the rest of this exercise three, and then I'll work through it with you in a moment. 
So I'm presuming that you've worked through exercise three on your own. Don't worry if you've made a mistake here and there. We're only ever working in pencil. It's always better to learn from your mistakes. And so the clef for this for this to begin and end on B flat and for the, all the steps in between to be correct, this must be in treble clef. Every good boy. And if we think this ledger line here, every good boy who deserves football, F, G, A, B. So it must be in treble clef. So starting on this second line up, loop the loop down we go. And then B flat major has got a key signature of B flat, which is the middle line, and then E flat's the top space. That's that one completed. Okay, for this next one, to be A major, it must begin and end on A. And we know that the bass clef is good boys deserve football always. So that must be bass clef, all cows eat grass. And in between, of course, will now be correct. So bass clef. And the key signature is F, C, G sharps. It's this second line down for the F sharp. Second space from the bottom is your C sharp, and then top space G sharp to make that distinctive sort of triangular pattern. That's that one completed. So this next one for this to begin and end on E, E flat, it's treble clef. And it's B flats middle line, E flat's top space, and then A flat's second space up, B flat's, E flat's, A flat's. This last one, for it to begin and end on B, for the B flat, it needs to be bass clef. And then B flat major's got B flat's and E flat's, good boys, all cows eat. There we go, that's that. And so now, same information again, but in yet another guise, exercise four, we've got to do a little bit of detective work for this. We've got to, first of all, name the key of each extract, and then we've got to write it out again. But this time, we need to write a key signature instead of the accidentals that they've put instead. So first of all, how do we find the key? We've got to look for clues. So we've got some clues here. So we've got a B flat. We're in the treble clef, remember? We're in an E flat, and then we've got a top B flat as well. So we've got B flats and E flats, and we know, if we refer to our sheet, that B flats and E flats means we must be in B flat major because we're using all of the notes common to this key of B flat major, albeit in a different uh, arrangement because it's making a tune now rather than a scale pattern but it's still using all of the notes common to that scale pattern and therefore we're in B flat major and so here's our key signature replacing all of these accidentals so we no longer need these accidentals so we've just got the notes the accidentals are now replaced by the key signature it will sound exactly the same it's just that the key signature tells us to remember to play them all the time, whereas here, they're written for us to remind us each bar what we need to play. So let's have a look at this next one. So A, I'll work through this one with you. So first of all, let's look at what clues we've got. That's a middle C, so we've got a C sharp. I mean, the treble clef isn't, so that's an F sharp. There's another F sharp again there, same thing. Another F sharp again there, same thing. And then we've got a G sharp and another G sharp. So we've got F, C, G sharps. And if you refer to your information sheet until you feel like you can remember it, F, C, G sharp is A major. And that will be the arrangement for our key signature. Okie dokie. So first part of the question is complete, we're in A major and now we need to write it all out again but this time with a key signature. So first things first, let's just get our bar lines. It's much easier to keep everything aligned so you don't lose track of where you are, you don't miss any notes that way and you also know you're not going to run out of space. There we go. So. Got a bit carried away with the ruler there. 
just tidy that up and so we've got our treble clef so pretty aren't they take a bit of drawing though and then our key signature refer to the pdf if you're not sure to make sure we get that distinctive shape so we've got top f sharp then the C sharp is the third space, F-A-C, that's every good boy who says football. And then the G sharp is just resting on top above the F sharp. So it, it goes clef first, then key signature, then the time signature. It's quite a lot to fit in, your bar's filling up already before we've written a note. And now that C no longer needs the accidental because the key signature takes care of that. So I'm just going to do the note heads just to be quick. We don't need those sharp signs anymore because the key signature's done that job for us. There we go. Put the dots and the ties in. So all we need to do now is add the stems. If you feel better using a ruler just to make sure you're nice and tidy, by all means do so. You can see how the note heads and the stems reflect the notes going up and down. Oh, don't forget that last one. There we go. So if we turn the page to page 11, you've got a good few exercises to go up there. So I suggest you press pause and have a good old look at these exercises on page 12. Do a bit of detective work, find your clues, find out what your key signature would be, that will give you the key, and then writing it out isn't particularly arduous, it just takes a little bit of time, so don't rush, and then when you're ready, pop back into the video and I'll go through those with you. So I'm presuming that you've had a little go at this yourself. Please do try this on your own. It really doesn't matter if you make some mistakes. If you have to rub it all out again, it doesn't matter. We're only ever writing in pencil and it's always better to learn from your mistakes. So let's look what we've got. We've got, a, we're in the bass class, we've got a B flat here. We've got an E flat here. There's our bottom B flat, so it's the same thing again, really. Another B flat. So we've got B flats and E flats and if we refer to your PDF you'll see that B flats and E flats tells us we're in B flat major and so that will be our key signature so we are in B flat major you can use the symbol or you can write it in words it's up to you and so if I just map out so I'll work through this one quite steadily just so you can work through it with me and then I'll speed up a little bit for the others Base clef, so with key signature, place it carefully, B flats and E flats. Okay, so we just need the blobs now. That's the technical term. Note heads, I should say. This is the nice bit where you're just writing the music out without really having to think. I think writing out musical notation is uh, really therapeutic. Okay, so now we just need the stems. That one needs a dot. And we can just copy the direction of the stems. They've done all the thinking for us. We're just omitting the accidentals. There we go, job done. So let's just power on through these. We've got a B flat, we've got an E flat, same B flat, E flat, B flat got an A flat here, if you think F, G, A flat, A, and the next door note's another B flat. So we've got B flats, E flats, A flats, which will, must mean we are in the key of A, e, e flat major. Shall I write that again? We're in the key of E flat major, which has got B flats, E flats, and A flats. So let's do that key signature. B flats, E flats, A flats, three, four. And then I'll just do the first couple of bars because after that the process remains the same. Just need the note heads, but we don't need any of these accidentals now because the key signature's taken care of that for us. So 
bloody blah just so you're not sitting watching me colouring in it's there we go okay let's move on to the next one so the next one we're in the base clef let's see what we've got here good boys is football that's an f sharp all cows that's a c sharp and there's another c sharp and then here good boys deserve that's a G sharp, so F, C, G sharps, which means we must be in A major if you refer back to your sheet. And so, key signature of F sharps, bearing in mind we're in the bass clef. And then we need our time signature of a la breve. 2 over 2, that means, if you remember. Um, I'll just do the first couple of bars again. So we've got an A, don't need the accidentals now, and so on, just pop the note stems, they've done all the thinking about which way the stems go and so on, okay, let's have a go at the next one. So we've got an E flat here, an A flat here, a B flat here. So automatically, straight away we know what key we're in. We've got a B flat and an E flat again. They're just doubling up what we've already seen. We've got B flats, E flats and A flats, which means we must be in the key of E flat major. We're in the treble clef. So our key signature, just making sure it's placed correctly time signature and then get our bar lines in place but we don't need the accidentals just keep everything nicely aligned and then you know it's all going to fit and you've got you're not going to miss anything by accident and so on Blah -de blah there we go. Okay, let's look at this next one. So we're in the treble clef. So here, every good boy says football F, G, A, B. That's a C sharp. That's F, G sharp. There's an F sharp. So already we know what key we're in. There's another C sharp there, F, A, C. There's an F sharp, G sharp. So F sharp, C sharps, G sharps means we must be in the key signature of A major. We're in the treble clef. So our key signature will look like this. F sharp is the top line. C sharp is the third space. G sharp is just resting on the top there. Notice my sharps, they're sort of tall and thin rather than wide and short. It fits in much neater at the beginning of the music. There's not a great deal of room at the start of a bar, so we need to just get that tidily done. So they're sort of tall and thin. It's the cross bars that are diagonal. And we just need to copy the blobs. But no accidentals needed now. Blah de blah. Of course, I don't recommend you say blah de blah. It's better that you complete the whole exercise. I just don't want you watching me when there's no need to. Okay, this last one, let's see what we've got. So, all cows eat, there's an E flat. Boys, there's a B flat, there's another E flat. Good boys deserve football always. There's an A flat, there's a B flat. So we've got B flats, E flats, A flat. So again, we're in the key of E flat major. We're in the bass clef. 
So the key signature looks like this, second line for the B flat, third space for the E flat, all curves each, so A is there. And know that you can have this top A, ordinarily we choose the toppermost note, however we want to keep that distinctive triangular pattern just to stay in step with instantly recognisable key signatures. So that's the accepted format there. Okay, I'll just do this first bar. So, time signature. So we've got E, down a step, back up a step, down, down. There's our B, and so on. By all means use a ruler if you feel more comfortable just so you know that it's absolutely neat and tidy and so on. And that's the end of that section. I hope that's been helpful to you. If you can give me a like that would be really encouraging to me. Subscribe so you stay updated. There's loads more to come. And please do access the website SharonBill.com. There's loads there for you to help you along your journey. I hope you're enjoying doing this theory. I'm certainly enjoying working through it with you. So I'll see you next time and thanks for watching. Bye.